I was a young man and a teenager, and I went in there because the actor's studio was the place we all aspired to, especially the one in New York. Get ready to step into the captivating world of one of the silver screen's most iconic actors, Al Pacino. Brace yourself for a cinematic journey filled with passion, luxury, and the glitz and glamour that define Al Pacino's remarkable legacy. Lights, camera, and action as we unveil the captivating story of a living legend. Alfredo James Pacino, born on April 25, 1940 and standing at 1.7 meters, is an American actor. Considered one of the greatest and most influential actors of the 20th century, Pacino has received numerous accolades, including an Academy Award, two Tony Awards, and two Primetime Emmy Awards, making him one of the few performers to have achieved the triple crown of acting. You're getting, I got into my first audition. They, they passed me for some reason, as far as I was concerned, I didn't. And then they said, come back for another. Now let's take a look at his interests and favorite hobbies. He wears designer clothes that cost thousands of dollars. He has an art collection worth millions of dollars. Pacino's been a recovering alcoholic since the start of his career. He imprinted his hands and signature in the cement at Grauman's Chinese Theater on November 16, 1997. He's an avid fan of William Shakespeare, Hamlet being his favorite play. He's a huge fan of Dick Van Dyke. They had the, the, the brass of the actor's studio, whether Lee Strasberg, Kazan, these kind of people were there, about half a dozen. Let's see how he's getting on with his friends and family. Pacino has four children. The eldest, Julie Marie, born 1989, is his daughter with acting coach Jan Tarrant. He has twins, son Anton James and daughter Olivia Rose, born January 25, 2001, with actress Beverly D'Angelo, with whom he had a relationship from 1997 until 2003. He's never been married. Pacino had a relationship with his Godfather Trilogy co-star Diane Keaton. Their on-again, off-again relationship ended after the filming of The Godfather Part 3. He's had relationships with Tuesday Weld, Jill Clayburgh, Martha Keller, Kathleen Quinlan, and Lindahl Hobbs. Pacino had a 10-year relationship with Argentine actress Lucilla Pollock from 2008 to 2018. He's currently in a relationship with Nor Alfala. He has a son, Roman, born on June 15, 2023, with his Alfala, who's 54 years younger than him. He's the only child of Sicilian-Italian-American parents Rose and Salvatore Pacino. Pacino's parents divorced when he was two years old. Subsequently, Al and his mother moved in with his grandparents in the Bronx. He has four sisters and half-sisters, Josette, a teacher, twins Roberta Pacino and Paula, and Desiree, whom Pacino's father adopted with his fourth wife. He's been friends with John Cazale since they were teenagers. A name Nathan Joseph, never forget him, as an Israeli guy. And he, uh, he was this wonderful guy talent you know he was i was in a play with him with that being said let's discuss how he earns his money al earned thirty-five thousand dollars for his role in the first godfather in 1972 for the second godfather his salary was up to five hundred thousand dollars more importantly he earned 10 percent of the film's gross after break even which over time would translate into tens of millions in bonus earnings before the third installment, Al demanded $7 million plus a percentage of gross receipts before costs. Francis Ford Coppola refused and even threatened to make the opening scene of the third movie, Michael Corleone's funeral. Al eventually accepted a flat $5 million. Pacino earned $1.5 million for 1992's Glengarry Glen Ross and $6 million for 1993's Carlito's Way. Al Pacino, along with Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci, each earned a reported $20 million to appear in Martin Scorsese's 2019 Netflix drama, The Irishman. He has a net worth of $120 million. Ever wanted to know where he lives? Well, let's find out. He currently lives in Beverly Hills, California and New York City. 
His Beverly Hills residence for the last 10 plus years has been a mansion that he actually rents. When he first moved in, the home was owned by the late novelist Jackie Collins. Pacino's long owned a large property in the town of Palisades, New York. His plot of land is said to span over three gloriously private acres. The four bedroom, three bathroom home is comprised of 4,290 square feet of living space. He's also at times owned properties in New York City, but has also chosen to rent there in recent years. There are rumblings of an Al Pacino house in Fort Lauderdale, but there's no evidence he ever owned a home there. Now let's see what type of cars you'll find in his garage. A Rolls-Royce Phantom, a Mercedes SLS class, a Cadillac CTS, a Lexus LX570, a Range Rover Vogue, a Lexus GX470. He owns a yacht. If you enjoy our videos, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Your support means a lot to us. It's hard to get the full picture of someone's lifestyle without seeing how they got there. So where did it all begin? Piccino did not enjoy school. He attended Herman Ritter Junior High School, but dropped out of most classes, minus English. He then auditioned for and was accepted into the High School of Performing Arts. His mother was furious at this decision, and after an argument, Al moved out on his own. He supported himself outside of school with a series of odd jobs, including working as a janitor, messenger, and busboy. Al acted anywhere he could during this time period. He was also frequently unemployed and homeless. He performed in basement plays in New York City's theater underground. He auditioned for acting companies, but was largely rejected. He was eventually accepted into HB Studio, where the teacher, Charlie Lofton, took Al under his wing and became a mentor slash best friend. After four years with HB Studio, he auditioned and was finally accepted into the Actor Studio, an organization of the country's top professional actors, playwrights, and theater directors. He studied method acting under famed coach Lee Strasberg. Al made his film debut in 1969 in the film Me, Natalie. He would soon follow it up with The Panic in Needle Park. Pacino would go on to star in such classics as Serpico and Justice for All, Dog Day Afternoon, and The Godfather Part Two. Years later, he would also star in The Godfather Part Three. Other notable film roles in Pacino's career include Dick Tracy, Sin of a Woman, The Devil's Advocate, any Given Sunday, Insomnia, Phil Spector, Paterno, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and The Irishman. 
In August 2022, Pacino was set to produce a film about Amadeo Modigliani, which he will co-produce alongside Johnny Depp and Barry Navidi. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching it. But don't stop here. There's more where that came from. Check out our other videos for more great content.